students, this is Nisi Sharda Vandiyapurapu from Vyans Medical Academy. Now I am going to explain internal structure of stem from the chapter Anatomy. Many students feel difficult from this area. I will make you to learn in an easier way. Let's learn in a comparative way between the dicot stem and monocot stem. First, let us see what are the main parts in dicot stem and monocot stem. Dicot stem is mainly divided into three, three regions that is epidermis, cortex and stem. Cortex is further divided into three regions, hypodermis, general cortex and endodermis. Stem is further divided into four regions, pericycle, vascular bundles, medullary base and pith or medulla. Next, the monocot stem is mainly divided into four regions that is epidermis, hypodermis, vascular bundles and ground tissue. Let's learn in a comparative way between the dicot stem and monocot stem. First, epidermis. Epidermis is almost same in both dicot stem and monocot stem. Epidermis is the outermost layer. It is usually a single layer. It protects the inner parts of the stem. Epidermis contains the cuticle in the outermost layer which helps to prevent the water loss. If cuticle is present, it is called cuticleized. Cuticle is present both in dicot stem and in monocot stem. In dicot stem, trichomes are present whereas in monocot stem, trichomes are absent. We have to focus this point. I repeat this once again. Trichomes are only present in dicot stem whereas trichomes are absent in monocot stem. There may be a chance of objective type of question from this area that is how many types of cells are present in epidermal layer? The answer is 3. There are guard cells, subcellary cells and normal epidermal cells. I repeat this once again. How many types of cells are present in epidermal layer? And the answer is 3. Guard cells, subcellary cells and normal epidermal cells. Let's move to the other part. Hypodermis. Hypodermis in dicot stem is made up of colon karma, whereas in monocot stem, hypodermis is made up of scleron karma. Colon karma is a living mechanical tissue and scleron karma is a dead mechanical tissue. Hypodermis is present below the epidermis in both dicot stem and in monocot stem. Next layer, general cortex. General cortex is same in both dicot stem and in monocot stem. Upper layer of general cortex contain chloroplasts which helps in photosynthesis. Whereas in lower layer of cortex contain leucoplasts which helps in storage of food material. Next part, endodermis. The main point we have to focus here is endodermis is only present in dicot stem. Whereas it is absent in monocot stem. I repeat this once again. Endodermis is present only in dicot stem. Whereas it is absent in monocot stem. Endodermis is the innermost layer of the cortex. The previous bit from this area is which is the innermost layer of cortex. The answer is endodermis. I repeat this once again. Which is the innermost layer of the cortex. That is endodermis. Endodermis is usually a single layer and barrel shaped cells are present. Endodermis contain caspadian strips which are made up of subarine and impermeable to water. In dicot stem, endodermis contain starch, so it is called as starch sheath. I repeat this once again. In dicot stem, endodermis contains starch, so it is called as starch sheath. Next, move to the other layer, pericycle. Pericycle is only present in dicot stem and absent in monocot stem. Pericycle is present below the endodermis and arranged as semi-lunar patches. It is made up of sclerenchyma and provides mechanical support. Whereas in monocot stem, pericycle is completely absent. Next, we move to the other part, vascular bundles. Before going to the vascular bundles, let us know some terms which are used to explain the vascular bundles. They are conjoined, collateral,
open type of vascular bundles closed type of vascular bundles and dark xylem and exact xylem let us have a brief look on these terms first conjoint if xylem and phloem are present in the same bundle it is called as conjoint type of vascular bundles collateral if xylem and phloem are present in the same radius it is called collateral type of vascular bundles next open type if cambium is present between the xylem and phloem like this if cambium is present between the phloem and xylem is called as open type of vascular bundles if cambium is absent between the xylem and phloem it is called closed type of vascular bundles next enarc xylem enarc xylem means metaxylem towards the periphery and protoxylem towards the center it is called as enarc xylem exact xylem if metaxylem is towards the center and protoxylem towards the periphery it is called as exact xylem now let's go move to the vascular bundles of dicotyledon and monocotyledon by using these terms in dicotyledon the vascular bundles are conjoint collateral and open type of vascular bundles and arc xylem in dicotyledon we observe conjoint collateral open type and in arc xylem whereas in monocotyledon we observe conjoint collateral close type of vascular bundles vascular bundles are seen in monocotyledon because cambium is absent between the xylem and phloem so it is called as close type of vascular bundles in dicotyledon only 15 to 30 vascular bundles are present whereas in monocotyledon only 30 to 50 vascular bundles are present in dicotyledon vascular bundles are arranged in ring like manner so it is called u stem whereas in monocotyledon vascular vascular bundles are arranged irregularly so it is called adapto stem in dicotyledon primitive type of vascular bundles are seen but as in monocotyledon advanced type of vascular bundles are seen in dicotyledon many xylem bundles are seen whereas in monocotyledon four xylem bundles are seen that is two metaxylem and two protoxylem let us consider a single vascular bundle of monocotyledon here the each vascular bundle is surrounded by the medulla med bundle sheath whereas in dicotyledon bundle sheath is absent we observe that metaxylem and protoxylem are arranged in capital y shape that is like this capital y shape the previous bit from this area is how the xylem bundles are arranged in monocotyledon the answer is capital y shape whereas in dicotyledon the xylem bundles are not arranged in capital y shape next here we observe protoxylem lacuna protoxylem lacuna is also called as lysogenous cavity in dicotyledon protoxylem lacuna are lysogenous cavity is absent now let's move to the other part medullary rays medullary rays are present only in the dicotyledon whereas they are absent in monocotyledon medullary rays are present between the two vascular bundles and helps in the lateral conduction of the stem next other part pith or medulla pith or medulla is only present in dicotyledon whereas it is absent in monocotyledon uh, in dicotyledon it is differentiated into extracellular and cellular region whereas in monocotyledon it is not differentiated into extracellular and cellular region let us recap only the differences between the dicotyledon and monocotyledon starting from the epidermis epidermis in epidermal layer all trichomes are present in dicotyledon whereas in monocotyledon trichomes are absent 
Hypodermis. Hypodermis is made up of collagenchyma in monocotyledon. Hypodermis is made up of sclerenchyma. Cortex is same in both dicotyledon and in monocotyledon. Endodermis and pericycle are present only in dicotyledon and they are absent in monocotyledon. Open type of vascular bundles are seen in dicotyledon. Closed type of vascular bundles are seen in monocotyledon. Used steel type of vascular bundles are seen in dicotyledon. Adaptive steel type of vascular bundles are seen in monocotyledon. 15 to 30 vascular bundles are seen in dicotyledon. 30 to 50 vascular bundles are seen in monocotyledon. It is the primitive type of vascular bundles and it is advanced type of vascular bundles. Here many xylem bundles are seen whereas in monocotyledon only 4 xylem bundles are seen. Bundle sheath is absent around the vascular bundles whereas in monocotyledon bundle sheath is present. Lysogenous cavity or protozoelum lacuna is absent in dicotyledon whereas in monocotyledon protozoelum lacuna or lysogenous cavity is present. Next Medullary rays are present in dicot stem, whereas in monocot stem, medullary rays are absent. Pith or medulla is very clear and it is made up of parenchyma, is only present in dicot stem and they are absent in monocot stem. Friends, in this area there may be a chance of asking questions. Uh, it is very important area in anatomy. So don't neglect this area. I hope you guys understand my topic very well. Thank you for giving me this golden opportunity to our director sir. Avyans Medical Academy wishing you all the best for the NEET 2020.